very rare you can see abandoned buildings. Hi guys, out on a lovely walk today. Uh, we're going to go around a circular walk around Biggin Hill Airport with my mate Al. You've probably seen in previous videos. Socially distancing, of course. Now we can actually see somebody from outside your household. Um, so yeah, we're going to get some fresh air, get some vitamin D, which is always good for your immune system. Get outside, guys, and uh, let's go. So we're keeping a little bit of a two meter gap, or a meter gap. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. We're going to see Big in Hill from different perspective. Now, Al goes to Big in Hill a lot, does 1940s reenactments, uh, wants everything back up and running, so he might be able to fill us in on a bit of the history, some of the hangars, which would be great. Let's do it. Oh, right. Lovely cottages. Yes, you speak, you say a workhouse. 1731. Yeah, Cudham Workhouse was built on 1737. Wow, they're now pretty cottages, probably worth a fortune. Interesting. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oh, and lovely fields. Oh, it's lovely. I take it we're going that way. Yep. Across the fields. Down to that aerial, you see in the distance. Uh huh. It's the city, and then you've got. I was just telling me that when the Luftwaffe came over, were bombing the capital, which is just over there, I'll show you a shot of it in a minute, London, you can actually see the planes coming over at this high viewpoint, which must have been quite a terrifying sight. Yeah, they would have come along the Thames, so... Mm -hmm. Come along the Thames, yeah. The Thames along, which is, is behind So that, that was their route, kind yeah, of thing. that was their route in. Okay, well, obviously, lights were off at the night. Yeah. Wow. And London's over there. That there, London. Yeah. yeah, you can see Crystal Palace as well. Yep, yeah, you can. But yeah, they would have followed in, come along the Thames, but because this is up on a hill, they would have seen, and the, the, the height of the bombers would have, you would have seen them coming in. And as this, this was one of the most well-known airfields. Okay, we are on the, the Leaves Green Circular Walk. So we're gonna go down this pathway here. So this is all around the perimeter of Biggin Hill. It's nice, uh, oh, lots of cow's parsley. Really nice little walk this. Going up a little bit of a hill. A little bit of a dip. Some lovely bird song. What do you think it was, Al? Uh, there was a wren. A wren. And then we had uh, <coughs> either a robin or a blackbird. Somebody likes the countryside. I really know very little about birds, fauna, <laughs> trees. I should educate myself, really. I was a hornophologist when yeah. I was young this time. Something here as well. Yeah, we, keep, we found these huts that Al says could be from World War II. But we think in the brickwork it looks really modern, but I don't know, does anyone know about these and what they were used for? It does look like it's new brickwork, but yeah. it, it might not be. No. Might be built 20 years ago. Not probably not. <laughs> no. Where they used to park up the Spitfires isn't far away from here. Right. Oh, another very rare you can see abandoned buildings. Let's quick look in here. This would have been World War II. World War II, yeah? This could have been a dispersal hut. <laughs> Out in the woods. Yeah, I think this was a dispersal hut. And what would they be used for? We, uh, you know when they rang the bell? Oh, yes, 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 yes sorry. Excuse my ignorance. Oh, wow, yeah, it's great. So they do, don't they? I say, if no one comes here much, you know, they've yeah. just probably survived. Oh yeah. As we're walking along, 
we're on the, still on the perimeter of the airfield. We're seeing a lot of cr like craters and ditches, and we're thinking, were they bomb strikes from the Second World War? As everyone does know, we well, obviously we haven't, we can look up on the internet, but we're out walking. Um, yeah, this would have been part of South Camp because on mm. the side here, South so, Camp. Um, and the dispersal huts would have been over here. Lovely. God, it's very hot today, but we love it. Oh, lots of llamas in the field. Llamas. We have llamas. We're coming out into uh, a road in a minute, and it's a bit of street walking. Out of rural, into pavement. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're out in we're out in suburbia suddenly. Yeah. This is Biggin Hill. It's Biggin Hill. Afraid the rest of the uh, walk will be on normal roads because you go around the front of the airfield. Mm -hmm. Normal roads. Not quirky roads, but normal yeah, roads. Normal. Tarmac. Okay, we're out in the front of Biggin Hill. We've been here before. Uh, we did a video a couple of years ago here. And um, who knows, we might get a plane taking off if we're lucky. Oh, it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, it's last year. <laughs> There's the Lookout Coffee Shop, which people go into. My favourite spot. How was it telling me the first casualty of World War II um, happened here when England had just declared war on Germany. Literally a couple of minutes later, a plane took off from here, from Biggin Hill, and crashed uh, across the way there because of engine problems. I think there's a dedication down at the church down below. See, this poor chap was the first victim, indirectly, of the First World, so Second World War. A bit windy up top here. So yeah. We're here for the Festival of Flight last year. Obviously won't be going ahead this year. Shame. So the hills in the background. Yeah. Well, that's between here and there. Mm -hmm. Is the Thames. Oh, the Thames. So you would have seen the planes going up because they would have been sort of that level. Right. And you would have seen them going past. Yeah, 1931. So this was part of the RAF. Demolishing it and creating a big uh, new place. Oh right. Yeah. Now we're talking. Fire. Amazing. Site of Biggin Hill Roll Air Force Station. And another beautiful Spitfire. That's the new museum, Biggin Hill Museum. Oh right. These were uh, there was a, an original Spitfire and a hurricane here. Uh-huh. For a long time. And then uh, I think it was back in the 80s they took them away and Put fiberglass ones up. Saint Al, Falcon Close, obviously by Biggin Hill. Got nothing to do with aircraft now. Nah. Sort of do with Star Trek. Well, there you have it, folks. A nice circular walk around Biggin Hill with Al. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like. Please leave a comment. Consider subscribing. Beautiful day today. We've had good fun to get out and get some vitamin D, yeah? Very nice. And I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. See you next time. <laughs>